Uh, well, here we go. We'll just make this a whole different one. Part one. Well, actually, I guess this would be part three. Um, privatized. Stephen Harper's privatized prison complex. If you've been following me for the last couple of years, you will have seen part one and two. Also, a little bit from uh, Pot TV Network's Jody Emery on uh, black market drug uh, money laundering. And uh, I believe it was CB CIBC, Canadian Imperial Bank of Commerce, uh, getting a slap on the wrist for getting caught... Uh, Laundering drug money. Yeah, well, you know, that's business. That's different than, than some pot-headed asshole with cancer or hepatitis C or, or AIDS or acute radiation poisoning. Growing a few plants in his backyard or her backyard uh, as, as medicine so they can eat. Or Rick Hampson's uh, cancer oil, hemp oil cure for cancer. And check out my playlists. Uh, seek herbal remedy for cancer would be that one. You all know the routine. <clears throat> you cowardly yuppie bastards that think, well, they won't arrest me. Yeah, you'll be the first fuckers that they arrest on a privatized prison. Why? Well, because you've got a $50,000 house that you paid. $250,000 for you know, the majority going to a bank for interest, you silly banker's bitch. They'll be coming after you first because, well, you follow where the money is first. Okay. Let's hear about privatized prison complex. Not coming to Canada, in Canada. Canada this year, or in time for my birthday and his birthday early next year, but at the latest, it's July ne next year, and that's not too far away. Now, tomorrow, I'm going to be at the BC Green Party's 30th anniversary and campaign kickoff event, and we here at Cannabis Culture Headquarters have donated some awesome items for their auction. We've got hemp hood lamb clothing, a great hemp hood lamb coat, that's almost worth $300, and a lot more that we're donating to the BC Green Party, because I'm going to be the candidate for Vancouver West End, and you guys can check out my website, it's just getting underway, but I posted my bio last night, so you can go to jody 4 ml LA.ca and check out my new website. And you can also check out the old campaign website from 2009 when I was spreading the message of ending prohibition to end gang violence, a message that is now carried by the MLA who won, Mr. Cash Heed, as well as many others uh, who are in positions of power and trying to make a difference. So if you want to attend the BC Green Party 30th anniversary event tomorrow night, kind of last minute, but if you're in Vancouver for 30 bucks or less than that, if you're a student, you can come to our big event and have drinks and food and cake with me and Cannabis Culture Editor Jeremiah Vandermeer and many others involved in the Green Party who believe in ending prohibition. They believe in ending all drug prohibition. It's unaffordable. It ruins too many lives. And that's why I'm proud to be a candidate for them again in the provincial election on May 14th. So go to bcgreens.com and find out all the information there and make a donation or sign up as a member if you live in British Columbia and help me make a difference with this project. Party. Now, I have some news. Like I told you, I was pretty angry this week and I'm pretty sad. Geo Group is a private prison company which has recently been meeting with the Harper Conservatives to try and introduce private for-profit prisons here in Canada with our new mandatory minimum laws. But Geo Group, which is where Mark spent a few months in Georgia initially when he was extradited, documenting all sorts of human rights abuses and violations that got him shipped out of there so he would shut up and stop exposing Money gods! Money gods! Oh, money gods! Printed in Germany! Oh, 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 Atlantic Don't worry, you get it. To put the name of Geo RFID chip next. Oh, 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 wait a minute. Industry actually You've already got one. Check your bank card, check your credit card. To make marijuana laws can, and if you uh, to marijuana laws, get arrested, to immigration laws so they can guarantee their shareholders a high inmate population. So 
it just made me sick to my stomach and furious to know that Geo Group is now putting their name on places like sports stadiums so all those kids watching the baseball game can see the company where they're either going to go to prison or work in prison. Uh, it's just so shameful. And some more news that always makes me mad. When I get home from visiting Mark, I walk to the Vancouver airport and there's giant ads for HSBC. HSBC is an enormous bank. And Robots if you've don't been go checking out CannabisCulture.com or if you read Rolling Stone magazine, you'll That's see we'll get the story jobs. about how HSBC was caught trafficking and, and money laundering with drug cartels and terrorists. Like, documented fact, this bank and many others have been taking money from drug cartels. They even had boxes made for the teller windows where the drug cartel members could drop off their enormous deposits of cash and the bank knew it. And what kind of punishment did they get? A $1.9 billion fine. Do you know how much that is for them? Five weeks profit. So they just got a slap on the wrist again, saying, you know what? You're laundering billions of dollars for murdering bloodthirsty cartels, but we'll just take a little fine from you and you can keep on going. And when you see these kind of news stories, I don't know, they make me so angry. And sometimes I feel so helpless when we know how enormous this prohibition and drug war industry is. How do you possibly fight against that? Well, like this, sharing a message, talking to people, running for office, doing what we can to bring people's attention to the enormous injustices and the gross abuses of power and corruption that take place every day. And those are the people that are running the governments and little folks like us who have to try and make a difference by getting involved and changing it from within. It's David and Goliath, but uh, apparently I think David won that battle. So we'll see how it goes. Now there's good news coming out of the U.S. still. Pennsylvania, I mean, I'm pretty sure that's where the U.S. federal government has a lot of their power centers, but Pennsylvania state now has a Democratic senator entering marijuana legalization legislation. A bill is being proposed to legalize marijuana for 21 years and older. You can grow it, you can give it away, you can possess it, up to six plants. This is a model that is spreading across the United States, and it's thanks to Washington and Colorado, who made it happen in the first place. You guys well, actually, it's thanks to Fukushima and GE. on the heels of countless states passing medical marijuana and decriminalization laws. So all these laws may not be perfect, in and of themselves, but they create a massive movement and a momentum. And that's going to be your remedy so for the cancer for that's in most of your bodies I already. I working in that state to make that happen, but I'm sure there's activists in every state and all across the world really working to end this human rights abuse that goes on every single day in the form of the drug war. And a little fun fact about Mississippi, apparently they never officially abolished slavery. The paperwork wasn't submitted, and they just finally finished that off. So, uh, Mississippi, thanks for joining everybody else in uh, the modern-day era. But, uh, you know, modern-day slavery does still exist in the form of the drug war. When I'm down there, I see it. Uh, there are a lot of people in minority groups who are imprisoned, and they continue to be the target of the drug war. It's certainly a racist policy. It began as a racist policy and it continues and uh, again we just we've just got to keep on trying to change that and they grow pot in mississippi too the federal government at the university of mississippi so the hypocrisy and irony is endless there now every week i do the draw for the free mark emery pin the free mark emery stickers and of course the free mark emery t-shirt and i've got a bunch of names in the bubble bag as usual Mark uh, Richardson, we've got a friend here who makes bubble bags, and this is available at Cannabis Culture Headquarters store. We've got 20% off hemp with them coats, 50% off all other clothing, 30% off heady glass. Okay, thanks, also Jody. Hope you don't mark me as uh, copyright infringement, because that was news and that was uh, oh, your, your political announcement. I'm not altering it in any way, I'm just reporting. Well, hey, I hope you're all uh, enjoying your um, Taste the Carbon Tax with your uh, little extended uh, your little extended winter down in the uh, U.S. Midwest. That was a direct result of a chemtrail weather modification fuck up. Combining with the uh, with the uh, influences of uh, 
the Chiplinks uh, impactor meteor that uh, hit Russia. That just, you know, <laughs> again, didn't get spotted. No, no money for that. Could just as well have been an extinction causing event. Yes, it was only 70 tons, 15 meters roughly. It's um, the way it uh, enters the atmosphere and, and vaporizes or impacts and what it's made out of. Yes, there are asteroids. This came out of a supernova. You know, the place of creator's milk where, where matter undergoes fission and fusion. Mostly fusion. When it goes supernova, when a star goes supernova, yeah, it could have been plutonium. One week later, there would probably be, well, it hit in Russia. Most of the Northern Hemisphere would already be extinct. Or as good as dead. What happened to the dinosaurs 60 million years ago with the YK impact? Huh? Yeah, that was a huge one that caused winter, but um, just kill off a, a, a small the people of Japan well, how long do you think their reactors and, and, and chemical plants and stuff are going to last before they go Fukushima huh? yeah there you go Hope I've completely fucking ruined your delusions. And whatever else it takes to make you fuckers grow fucking up. Get your heads out of your goddamn fairy tale asses that the TV has programmed you to have. And start living! Take charge of your own future and existence before you don't have one. Even if you hate yourselves, which you all should and obviously do. Find something you love. A mouse, a bird, a dog, a dolphin. Think about them. Gone. That's humanity's future. That's their mark on the universe. No heaven. Desolation of abom abominations. Or abominations of desolations. Whatever you want to say that, I could care less. I'm just doing everything I can to make sure you're making an informed choice. Enjoy your life or your death. You choose.